We're all familiar with playing with the mechanics of a system, whatever they might be, but what can we really do with them? The answer, unsurprisingly, is quite a lot, but let's go through. Now the mechanic we see most often is dice, but there are so many other options. There is an auction where people can bid for control of an element of the game, they can vote and have a group consensus decide where the game goes from there, and anything else one can think of. Uh, Dread, of course, uses the Jenga tower, but you could construct the highest tower of dice, you could turn your character sheet into an airplane, and the person who flies the furthest wins. But the mechanics can really affect player behavior in the game. Obviously, auctions will create a more competitive atmosphere. Voting, and especially having players vote together against other players, can create fractions within the group and cause little sex to build up. And as well, we can have certain designs create mechanics. The growing fear in the Dread Tower is a great example. Or you can have a classic press-your-luck mechanic, where a player is tempted to push further, but could lose everything by doing so. Mechanics can also encourage a player not to engage them, to hold back, as it were, and perform some resource management within the game. There's no way I can cover everything that mechanics can do for your game, but I can cover some basics for you. The most common thing we'll see is a role to determine success and the degree of that success. This is your hit and damage rolls, your basic competence check, or resolution mechanics for a skill check. They can determine the elements in play. This is your encounter tables, your treasure tables, as well as things in Burning Wheel like circles and wises, and sometimes a success will put more elements in play, as a game cat does. There's of course basic conflict resolution. Now this is a little different from success and degree of success, because this often requires you to be making one roll to determine an entire outcome for an event. And that's one that's often tied to narrative control. If you're rolling once for the conflict of an event, oftentimes you'll be giving whoever wins that conflict the determination of how that conflict rolls out. They can also offer a meaningful choice to a player, either determining how their failure plays out, or how their success plays out, or what is most important for them to succeed or fail at. It can of course just move the story alone. Apocalypse World does this really well. Their mechanics more color how the game plays out, rather than actually determining what happens from play. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that there's a simple feeling of success or failure depending upon how the mechanics play out for you. So if you're changing a mechanic in a game, or creating one from scratch, ask yourself, what does this mechanic really do, and what do I want it to do? Links for Blackboards and Minute Games are on screen and below. Video replies and comments are very welcome. And if you're interested in playing a game that I've talked about, I would like to try to open this up on Google+. There is a link for the notes as well. Thanks for watching, and I hope that every game that you have is better than the last. On a Christmas day, we were mushing our way over the Dawson Trail. Speak of your cold to the park is folded, stabbed like a driven nail. If our eyes we closed and our lashes froze till sometimes we couldn't see, it wasn't much fun, but the only one to whimper was Sam McGee.